my hair is wet. You guys really seemed to like my last hair video. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. If you do not know, I have type 3A to C curls. Today we are going to be achieving the biggest, most voluminous hair ever while still keeping curl definition. It either grows out of the roots up or down. So mine obviously grows down, so it's not gonna, obviously it's, I'm not gonna like, it's not gonna be some, it's not gonna be anything crazy voluminous, but vol volume for my specific hair type. So if you have the same type of hair as me, or you just wanna know how to achieve more volume, then keep on watching, cause this video is for you all. Big announcement, if you do not follow me on Instagram, and you probably wouldn't know, but if you do follow me on Instagram, y'all probably know, um, me and my boyfriend Brandon have started a <laughs> clothing line. Thank you, thank you, thank you, yes, yeah, oh my gosh, yeah, you know, red carpet, runway, fashion designers, yeah, that's me and my boyfriend. But yeah, so we started a clothing line called Poet tees because Brandon, if you didn't know, is a poet. Yes, I know, guys. He's a poet. I'm a lucky gal. I know. And I like to draw. So we combined our interests into poet tees, which are t shirts. We also have sweatshirts and crew necks, and we're coming out with more stuff soon. So stay tuned. But go visit the link in my description below for our websites so you can buy your own poet tees. They're super freaking cute. And also follow Poetee's Instagram at Poetee's. Now, without further ado, let's make some volume. So, as you can tell, my hair is wet. <laughs> um, I need a mirror though, so that's gonna be something I need to find. So, almost all my products are Diva Curl too. So, I'm just gonna start with this Biotin Boost Thickening Five in One Leave in Spray. Five in One? Jeez, what's in here? It um, thickens and adds body, provides thermal protection, controls frizz and adds shine, prevents breakage, it detangles and moisturizes. Mm. Yeah, so I'm just gonna start by spraying this all throughout my hair. And this stuff smells very um, interesting. When I want extra volume, I want to make sure that my hair has enough protein. And this is like a protein boosting thing. The hair can either be lacking in moisture or lacking in protein and usually mine is lacking in protein. This part, <laughs> when I first started learning how to do my curly hair, pains me. But you know what? It still kind of pains me actually. Um, but that's brushing through my hair. And this, everybody, is a Denman brush and it's like designed for curly hair and when I brush through my hair it makes me very anxious. It makes me feel like I'm brushing out all the curls but you gotta do it because it distributes the product throughout your hair evenly, very important. Okay, now I'm jumping into the Diva Curl products. Um, I'm wearing pants, by the way, if you didn't know. So the first product I'm gonna use is the Diva Curl Styling Cream, and this stuff I use a lot of. This stuff just adds moisture and it's everything good to your hair. So I kind of like put it all over the ends and I rake it through, which is still so painful to me, but I know it works, so it's fine. Then I get some more. And yes, I put it up near my roots, I know, but it's important to keep my entire head hair moisturized so that my curls are luscious and frizz free. And then, <laughs> you guessed it, I brush through that again. Now. This, my friends, is where the volume comes in. And that is on this frizz free volumizing foam from Diva Curl. And this adds texture and volume. So, oh honey, I'm gonna take a lot of this. Literally, like, 
I'll use more probably. So I'm gonna, no, I'm gonna focus this on the roots, which is again, kind of scary, but believe me, works wonders when you work it into your roots. Roots is where our volume begins. Before I started learning how to do curly hair, I literally would probably put like no products in my hair, but I don't do that anymore. I go ham. I go vegan ham with my products. Now I'm gonna brush through. Beautiful. Now for the magic product, this is the ultra defining gel from Diva Curl and this is what is going to add the definition and I use quite a bit of this too. I'm going to break it in everywhere. Everywhere, everywhere that's in my hair. And then again, you guessed it, brush right on through. I take this um is a microfiber towel, but you can also just use like if you don't want to buy one of these, you can literally just use a cotton t-shirt. When you use real towels on your hair, it's actually can cause a lot of frizz and although we want volume, we don't want that volume to be made out of frizz, you feel me? We want it to just be voluminous, we want her to just be thick. So yeah, um, I use this now to scrunch my hair and this is not only going to dry it a little bit, but it's also going to take out any of the excess products. So I just do that for how? Oh, guys, I don't know what to do. Should I? I have my nails done and this one, like, I think I bent it today and it feels like it's about to like snap and I keep like bending it and oh it's like fingers on a chalkboard sensation and it like hurts and I don't know like should I just should I should I clip it because like I can't go into the salon for a couple more days yeah should I just clip it because it's like oh not a fun sensation I take my scrunchie and I put it into my hair like so then I begin the um, finger coiling and demon brush process okay. so I'm gonna take the brush I'm gonna brush through my curls form in like about this thickness um, usually type 3 a 3b curls form 3b curls might be a little bit smaller might be more like that but yeah, 3A curls are pretty thick. They're characterized by being like kind of the width of a chalk. Like if someone just curled your curl around a piece of like thick chalk. I brush through that amount of hair a couple times just to detangle it. And then I'm gonna take my brush, I'm gonna put it under. And I'm like pulling at the same time as I'm flicking down. Like so. Then I'm going to scrunch. And voila, it's begun the curling process. Then I'm just gonna take the curls that it's starting to form and I'm just gonna go like the extra step and I'm just gonna help it a little bit more. And then I'm gonna scrunch it again. Whew, and that took a while. And now we're gonna do it to the entire rest of our head of hair. So sit tight and I would say grab a snack, but you need both hands for this and do that to the rest of your head of hair. Doing this will not make straight hair curly. It is only enhancing curls that are like already there. It's just helping them be more defined. If I didn't do this, yes, my hair would still dry curly, but um, the curls would just not be as like defined as I want them. I'm gonna unzoom a little. So now I'm gonna continue that, but I'm gonna just take down sections at a time. It's also really important to keep your hair wet during this process, so I actually have a little just spray bottle since it's starting to dry. This is where my trusty handy dandy butterfly clips come in very handy. So for when I want extra volume, I'll actually just take some butterfly clips or whatever type of clips I have lying around and I'll just like take a little bit of the hair and pin it up just so it dries 
a little bit more like with some more texture on top since my hair is so heavy on the bottom so usually when I'm not like being crazy about the volume and I am more just like going for the defined look I'll just leave it like this and I will just let it air dry and then I'll go on with my day but because we're trying to get extra volume there's another extra step that we're gonna add in and um, I am going to let it air dry first for about 10 minutes and then I'll see you then. Oh my god, I love you. Bye. Is that it? Or is it like a whole other time? quite some time. So now to add that extra oomph, I'm going to use this hair dryer and I'm going to put this really cheap thing I got from Best Buy on it. This is called a diffuser and you can get probably way better ones than this, but this does the trick. And this was like 10 bucks along with this hair dryer that I've just had forever. If you want your curls to be as healthy as Possible. I'm gonna do this as little as possible with as little heat as possible. Um, so I'm gonna put it on low, on warm instead of hot. Then I'm basically just gonna cup the curls. Okay, so now I'm gonna take very carefully so I don't like disrupt anything, take these out. Now I am gonna extra focus the diffuser on the roots and i'm also gonna flip my head over completely the reason i flip my head over is because remember how i talked about at the beginning of this video how my hair grows down instead of up so this is kind of just blowing the roots in the opposite direction which will add more volume in return And now we're at this point and because I put the gel in, a very important thing to do, as you can see my hair kind of still looks wet, but it's not. It's just because there's gel in there. So you have to break the cast, so it's called, which means just basically breaking the gel cast. <laughs> and by doing that, you scrunch, so. This still has some drying to do, so I'm gonna keep drying. Now I just basically play with it, and I'm gonna go like this, up in there, to kind of just lift the curls. Oh, and look at that, look at this volume. It's so voluminous. You can also, if you're really daring and your curls hold well, you can sh get in here and you can shake. And that, especially from going under, will add even more volume. We're so voluminous. And I just shape my hair how I like it. So you, can, as you can see, my curls are very defined. There's still a ton of volume. Okay, guys, so this is my voluminous yet still defined hair. And you guys should definitely try out these tips that I brought you today because they literally work wonders. I see a very big difference when I do the extra voluminous things that I do to when I don't do them. So yeah, I hope you guys loved this video. If you want more curly hair videos, let me know. I really love doing them. I think curly hair is so fascinating and so beautiful, so magical. I would definitely be down for doing more, so let me know. And I love you guys so much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys, love you.